Okay, everybody, how's everybody doing today? So today I'm gonna to be showing you guys some new tools, well, just mainly one new tool that is really awesome, okay? We are going to be showing you guys a new landscape blending tool. So what are the issues? I'm gonna show you one of the issues that we have now and we'll go ahead and we'll, we'll do that. Um, so let's go ahead and go to bridge. Let's bring in an asset here let's go to any one of these sure oh that's gigantic we don't need gigantic uh sure let's bring this one in here we're just going to go ahead and drag this in there we go so of course one of the issues here is is that you have this that you're bringing in and you want to add it but of course you know you got to like rotate it you got to blend it a bit better here yeah, I mean, and it's not it's not bad, you know, but what if, you know, we can make this better? Well, one way to do that is to actually go into the landscape tools and start actually deforming the landscape to fit this better, to make this better. But that's still a tedious task, right? I'm going to show you guys something new right now that a lot of people don't know about. Okay, it is a special landscape tool. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna reset the rotation on this and how you enable it. There's two things that you need to enable and this is gonna be pretty cool. I'm gonna show you guys this. So first you have to go to your plugins and we are going to first turn on land mass. You gotta make sure that land mass is checked off. And then as well, a new plugin, Ooh, let me spell that correctly landscape is called landscape patch now once again this is in beta okay so once again you use at your own risk okay once you enable those you're gonna have to restart uh, unreal engine no worries but now let's go ahead and add this to our project so let's say you want the landscape to blend with this all right watch this we're going to go over to this mega scan asset right here on the side right here in the details panel and with it selected you want to make sure it's selected at the top we're going to go add and then in the little thing here we're going to type landscape and then you have two and i'll show both but we'll just quickly go through the landscape circle height patch we're going to go ahead and click on that and then it says insert new edit layer and we are going to go under landscape patches because once again, it's going to add this layer to the landscape, which is pretty cool. And then we're going to go ahead and click OK. And then there we go. Check that out. So obviously you have now the landscape here. I'm going to select the top here and watch this. Damn, dude. How cool is that? Look at that. So now wherever I move this patch, it's going to move. And you can change um, a lot of these settings here if you want. You can blend the fall off a bit better. You can blend the radius a bit better. I'm gonna show you guys how to do that. So I'll just go extreme so you guys can see it. And now with this selected, I'm gonna select the landscape circle height patch. And then you can see here radius fall off and it essentially grabs this from kind of this object. This changes based on the object, which is pretty cool. Um, but as well, with this selected, you can actually now adjust this just a tiny bit. So if you want, like, for example, it to blend a little bit better. Now, once again, I don't have RVT on or anything. I haven't really... Um, done anything with this material and I'm gonna go ahead I'm gonna change this material a tiny bit to blend it a bit better so we can go ahead here we can go to the material instance and let's uh, da, 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 where is it albedo tint let's give it a little bit of a warmer kind of more ready around there there we go perfect that's a little bit better uh, it's still a little, it needs a little bit more orange in it, but close enough. 
All right, and then I'm gonna, with that selected, I'm going to go here to the landscape clip again, and you can change the radius. So, for example, right now it's at 300. Let's go to like 500. It makes the radius bigger, or you can make it smaller. You can go to like 200. Now, there is a little, like, obviously issue there. Um, we can go ahead and we can rotate this a tiny bit there, and we can move it around. Um, but the radius there needs to be a bit bigger. Let's go like 250. 50 no let's go like let's go like 300 300 is pretty good and then as well you can play with the fall off falls at 150 you can go to like 500 you know what i mean like you you can but the nice thing about this though is the fact that oh that's my bad let's undo that i had to select the actual rock there the nice thing about this now though is you have full control over this so if you want to like move it down you can you want to move it up that's perfect like look at that that's so good that's so so good we can scale this object up or down oh, hold on let me lock this let's go to like five let's make it really big there we go and now let's go ahead and move this up okay we're going to go here and we can make the radius no the radius 300 is fine fall off let's do the fall off maybe like 200 there we go. But that's really cool. And this works for any object. This works for any object. So it's really nice. And then the nice thing is too, you can go ahead and duplicate this now. And look at that. And then now we can go ahead. Oh, I just turned on preview mode there. That's my bad. There we go. And then we can duplicate this a bit more. There we go. And it's just really playing with these layers, which is really nice. Like now, the fact that we have this control is really, really nice. So you can really, like obviously the radius now is a little too much maybe on this one. So we can move that in a bit. I can go in here and the radius at 300. I can go to like 200, maybe 100. I have to go to this one here. Change that up go it's getting a bit closer which is nice let's go over here there we go so we're just messing around here so this is a lot of fun so that's pretty cool that is really really cool so the fact that i can like deform move around all this stuff that's pretty neat we got this one here okay we have this one a little too much let's reset that right there to reset the fall off on this one here <laughs> but you can see they kind of affect each other oh move that here so you just got to be careful here because they all kind of interact with each other so the radius is probably too much there but it's a circular radius as you can see which is really nice all right now let's talk about the other one which is more of like a it's it's a texture one which is really really nice so i'm going to go ahead on this one i'm going to delete this landscape circle one i'm going to delete now let's move this up here just so that we can have this here and then we're going to go ahead and we're going to add landscape texture patch and we're going to go ahead and add that give it a second to kind of initialize here we go um oh wait hold on did i do 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 do, do. snap to landscape Oh, here, reinitialize height. Or is that it? I am trying to remember how to use this. Oh, there. My bad. It is affecting it. <laughs> there it is. I was like, wait a minute, what's going on? So you can see here the height <clears throat> is not where it's supposed to be. But right now it's at a rounded rectangle. And it's using an internal texture which is this and you can actually switch it to any one that you want so you can actually do a texture asset if you want so we can then type noise let's get a nice noise texture going sure let's do this one here there we go uh, da, 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 da. So let's go here so you can see here now we're using that noise texture to kind of blend so you can do kind of your own stuff 
Um, to do that, let's do let's do a different one actually. I'm gonna do a different one. Let's do blurred one. And you can move this around as well. And it'll follow the asset, which is really, really nice. And this is a rounded rectangle. You can also do a circle, which is nice. So if you want to do a circle, but that's texture based. Uh, da, 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 is your height? And it's zero to one, patch Z. But that's pretty much it. There's not much like craziness, but you can do that. Um, you can do a texture back render target, internal texture, obviously, which is texture 2D, which is pretty cool. Um, this, you know, I mean, but I think this one over here would probably be used more. But I really like that fact that we can now blend really nicely um, assets together with a landscape, which is very, very cool. Very, very cool. All right, guys. Well, that's pretty much about it for this tutorial and have some fun. All right, guys, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe. Sorry about my voice. I have a bit of a cold and sore throat and I'm working through it, but definitely uh, hit that like subscribe so we can do more fun content. I like video gaming as well. Um, I can't wait till um, Unreal releases their Fortnite Creative 2.0. Oh, um, because that's really, you know, I mean, it's going to have a separate editor and a lot of fun stuff. So definitely cool playing with all this stuff and guys have a good one.